Hello students, in this class we will discuss how to convert one compound into another compound or how to identify compound A, B, C and D. Here in this equation we have only reactants and some reagents. On the basis of these reagents we have to identify A, B, C and D. So here in this equation methyl cyanide undergoes hydrolysis, it will give compound A. Compound A reacts with ammonia, it will convert into compound B. On heating compound B, it will convert into compound C. And compound C reacts with bromine in presence of potassium hydroxide, it will convert into compound D. So, here we have to identify compound A, B, C and D. So, students remember when methyl cyanide or any cyanide undergoes complete hydrolysis in presence of acid. Here acid may be sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid. So methyl cyanide will convert into acetic acid. So compound A is acetic acid. Further compound A that is acetic acid it reacts with ammonia. When acetic acid reacts with ammonia it will convert into ammonium acetate. So, ammonium acetate is CH3COO and it's for plus. It is compound B. Further, compound B on heating gives compound C. So, ammonium acetate on heating will produce acetamide and it will lose one molecule of water and convert into compound C. So, compound C is acetamide. Further, compound C reacts with bromine in presence of potassium hydroxide. So, when acetamide reacts with bromine in presence of a base, it is Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. In Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction, one carbon atom will be less than the parent compound. So, acetamide will convert into amines that is CH3NH2 and potassium carbonate and potassium bromide. So, compound B will be amine. So, compound A is acetic acid, compound B is ammonium acetate, compound C is acetamide and compound D is primary amine. Such kind of chemical information join us. Subscribe and like. Thank you so much.